Once again, we're very lucky to be at the Newcomer House in Sharpsburg, Maryland with our friends at the heart of the Civil War Heritage Area. This is an absolutely special place. We've been out several times and we've talked at a lot of their porch programs on Civil War photography, tin type photography, wet plate collodion, amber type, spirit photography, and today is our second time with cyanotypes, authentic 1842 photography. Christine is in there with the kids setting that up. Children can either make photograms or we have some digitally copied historic negatives that they can use as well. Now, when we say kids, we really mean kids of all ages because who doesn't like an 1842 cyanotype? Christine made this photogram here and we're gonna put it out in the sunlight and do a time lapse. It won't take long and I'll actually show this is the freshly coated cyanotype and it'll get darker and darker and darker and then it'll start kind of going almost like a metallic depends on the, the 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 paper too but it'll kind of go almost metallic and start lightening up and when it lightens up again that's when you've achieved uh, d max or the maximum darkness on the on the cyanotype material Here's our print that we made the time lapse of. And that was mostly to show exactly how that color change looks. Cool four leaf clover. Put it face down the tray while we get everything together. We've got a mug of water. We're probably gonna lose all those little veins in there, but they might be very little, they might be very faint. But I think we're probably gonna end up losing those. But you can see a little bit of those veins on that clover. Well, they, might, they might be really faint, that's cool. gonna give a little bit more water just enough to cover and then what we like to do is we like to try to spray a little bit of hydrogen peroxide where the print is not because remember hydrogen peroxide is still a bleach there you go
Just packed up, man. We got busy at the end of the day. Made a lot of cyanotypes. Made a few tin types. It was such a good time. Beautiful weather. Of course, it started getting hot when we left. What what temperature is it? It's the upper 70. 70s. I think it's starting to get hot again. And man, we just had a perfect weekend. Couldn't ask for better weather for both yesterday and today. After it being 96 on Friday. Who knows what tomorrow will be. I haven't even looked at the weather ahead. But we had such a great time. I want to thank everybody who came out to visit us. Everybody who came out and made a cyanotype to take home. Everybody who came out to either have a tintype made or watch a tintype be made. And of course, a big thank you to our friends at the Newcomer House and the heart of the Civil War Heritage Area. We've been coming out there for several years now and every time it is one of our favorite events. Just such a beautiful house, a beautiful location. It's on one of our favorite battlefields, most favorite battlefields. And it's just a relaxing time. Even though there's a steady stream of a lot of people, it is so relaxing. It's almost like a little mini vacation. I feel, I feel bad that this is a working event and not a vacation because it feels like a little mini vacation every time. But thank you guys for having us out once again. Thanks to everyone who came out and saw us. And looking forward to doing it next year. But for now, we're going to go home and try to beat this heat and try to figure out what this guy, what the hay bales is doing.